Let's start, shall we? Today we are going to see what serializer is. Let me go to their website first and explain what they're saying about serialization. They're saying serializers allow complex data such as query sets and model instances to be converted to native Python data types that can then be easily rendered into JSON or XML. Well, that's what they're saying. This might be useful for some of us, but some of us might find it a bit difficult. So that's the reason why I'm here. I would like to explain, well, well, I will try my best to explain what Django Serializer is and what it does for us. Let me take one of these pencils, okay. Let's say we have a database over here and we want to retrieve maybe a user list, perhaps a customer list. So whatever we are getting out of this database are going to be called query set. And this query set is complex. That's the reason why they're saying on their documentation, complex data type, we get out of the database. So this query set cannot travel to this web app or cannot be rendered into this web app easily. So that's a big no. This cannot happen. This does not happen. So in that case, what can we do? We can have some different channels. So first of all, we need to convert this query set into dictionary. So that's the first step or first channel. And then this dictionary has to be converted whether either in XML or in JSON. And as you know, web app, they accept XML or JSON. So this is the step number two. So when we convert this query set into dictionary, we need Django Serializer. That is it. So Django Serializer is a special class that helps query set to become dictionary. That's all it does, OK? Well, it has some more functionalities. We will talk about this in our next videos. But now you have to understand that query set becomes dictionary with the help of Django Serializer. Now the question is, Django Serializer, is it a class? What is it? Is it a variable? What is it? It is a special class, okay? We need to write this class on our own, and this will help us this conversion, okay? So we're going to go to our, our visual code, and we will find out what and how this serializer works, okay? Here I am. I have written a user serializer, which will serialize our user class, or maybe serialize a query set, okay? Okay, now we're gonna go and find out what really happens. So first, what we can do, we can bring this from, we can bring this uh, serializer, so from core.serializers, import user serializer, okay? We, all, we will also be needing model, so from core.models import user, so that's the model, that's the, I mean, that's we want to get out of the database. And finally, we'll be needing another thing called JSON renderer, and it comes from REST framework, so let me get REST framework, REST framework dot renderers import JSON Ran, oops, sorry, just on renderer. Now we want to get all the users from the user table, and we will keep this in a variable called query set. And as we learned, that anything out of the database is going to be called query set, and this is complex. Let me prove this to you. This is complex. Query set. Look at the type. This is freaking ridiculous, right? So with the help of serializer, we will convert this query set into dictionary. So let's bring the serializer, serializer, and we'll pass this query set into it, query set. I need to pass another argument, man equal to true. This can be, this can be ignored by you now, for now. So let me take this uh, in a variable called s. If you now call s.data, you will find all the dictionary over here. See, you have this dictionary. So with the help of this user serializer, this query set becomes 
dictionary now and now if you want to show this dictionary to the web page it has to be again converted into json we can do this too so system dot let me clear this up a little bit because i'm running out of space okay so let's say we want to convert that thing into convert the dictionary into json so we need to call json render ours not render r dot render and we had to pass that s dot data in, into it and it will bring oops i think i made a mistake it render renderers json renderer i think it should be like this yeah so now this json data boom as you can see this json data is now renderable in the website so that is it guys um, uh, so if we sum up we get something out of the database becomes query set this query set becomes dictionary with the help of django serializer and this dictionary can later be rendered or converted into xml or json so yeah that's what django serializer is guys thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please uh, hit the thumbs up button and if you think uh, you can subscribe my channel that would be lovely because uh, if you send me if you give me some inspiration um, that would be you know really really helpful for me to create more videos like this thank you very much take care bye bye